pretty friggin' deep. Uh, in the co-main event, we get Thug Rose Namajunas taking on Carla Esparza for the second time. That's right. This is a rematch. The two fought way back in late 2014 in what was the inaugural uh, fight for the Women's Strawweight Championship in the UFC. And that fight was won by Carla Esparza by submission via rear naked choke in round number three. And all these years later, uh, the title had changed hand a few times, and now Thug Rose is the champ once again. She's coming off of three back to uh, three consecutive wins against Andrade, winning that rematch, and then two fights against Zhang Wei Li. Uh, all six of Thug Rose's last fights uh, are all rematches. She fought JJ twice, Andrade twice, and Wei Li twice. Carla Esparza, as I mentioned, was the first UFC Women's Strawweight Champion, uh, has since lost the belt. But she is streaking once again, riding a five-fight win streak into this Saturday night, most recently getting a TKO victory against Yan Xiaonan back in May of 2021. Omar, let me start with you this time. What's your take on this historic rematch of Rose Namajunas and Carla Esparza? And ultimately, give us your pick. So we are just shy of about eight years removed from that first fight. And they were both very different fighters back then. I would say Rose probably a lot more uh, than Carla Esparza. Carla Esparza's game, for the most part, has stayed pretty pretty, pretty much the same throughout her career. Um, the, the reality is her wrestling, though, is relatively elite compared to most of the other women that are in that division. I think the person she had the, the, real, the real tough time against was Tatiana Suarez, who was not only bigger than her, but her wrestling was probably comparable to her as well. Um, but, you know, Rose has had a, a very successful career since losing to Carla Esparza. Uh, really turned up the level in her game. Def uh, got with uh, uh, Trevor Whitman, like we know, and, and has been part of that little small class of fighters that has really taken everything to the next level. Um her fights against Yuana and Jacek are legendary at this point. You know, the, there will always be that argument whether JJ tapped or not to strikes, and I still say that she did. But they hmm. can visibly see that she tapped to those strikes. She denies it to her dying breath, which I totally get. Um, you know, she was able to come back against that that nasty slam from her head against Andrade and put an entire beating on her for uh, for the majority of that fight. The Wei Li Zhang fight, she was able to knock out a fighter who we thought was going to be one of the next big things in that division and then solidified it with another decision after that, which was a hard-fought fight and a close fight. Uh, but Rose has come so, so, so far, and I think Rose's biggest issues have always been her, her mental fortitude uh, and her ability to kind of make sure that she doesn't get in her own way because I think skill for skill, she's always had the ability to beat anybody on that roster. Um, so it's been nice to see her be able to kind of get everything in line, put everything together, including her mental game, uh, and really find a lot of success. With all that being said, I think this is the time where she can beat Carla Esparza. And that's saying something, because Carla Esparza is, is a very consistent fighter, a very good fighter, um, and she's been elite for a long, long time. So I, I think Rose can get it done. I do think it's a very hard-fought fight, uh, fought fight. I do think it will be a very close fight. Um, I think it will be three rounds to two, but I do think Rose wins it. Unanimous decision. All right, Mark, what are your thoughts on the rematch between Thug Rose and the cookie monster, Carla Esparza? So Rose is favored. She's minus 210. Carla Esparza is plus 170. Um, we get another rematch here. I think it's the third one that we've previewed tonight. Um, what's crazy, though, is that a lot of new fans may not even realize this is a rematch. As you said, First time these guys, these two fought was back in 2014, when when Carla choked out Rose to become the first strawway champ. Um, so it's a rematch that has been a long time coming, and one that I'm sure Rose is very excited to get back. Um, mm -hmm. But real quick, I want to give props to Carla for getting here because when she dropped that belt to Joanna, and she dropped it bad, she she got destroyed by Joanna. She then went three and three in her next six fights, and it kind of felt like, man, good thing Carla got to have that belt when this division was in its infancy because she'd never be able to get it right now. And now here we are, five fights later, five straight wins over really good girls, and Carla's fighting for the title again. So, so that's awesome, and props to her on this run. Um, 
<clears throat> I will say, kind of, Omar touched on this as well. As much as Carla has improved on this run, her striking is better, her aggression is better, her willpower, I would say, is stronger. She's still, in a nutshell, a similar fighter to what she was then. She still has the same game. What's crazy is that even though it's fairly one note and you know exactly what she's going to do, she somehow still does it against girls like Alexa Grasso and Marina Rodriguez and Jean Onyan. You know, none of them have been able to do enough to stop it. Uh, and Rose can be taken down. We saw it against Wei Li more than once. Wei Li had some success with the wrestling, and Carla's a better wrestler than Wei Li is. Um, but switching to Rose, again, as, as Omar touched on, she is an entirely different fighter now from what she was then. She barely even resembles the fighter that lost to Carla the first time. And I do think in that Wei Li fight that I just mentioned that a lot of that wrestling success was because of the threat Wei Li also posed on the feet. Whereas Carla is a straight wrestler. She poses no threat on the feet. And I don't think a straight wrestler can beat Rose anymore. I, I think Rose has evolved too far. I think her footwork has reached an almost untouchable level. Her movement, her confidence, and just the danger she presents are so different now from what they were the first time she fought Carla. And I think it's going to be a lot harder for Carla to bring her down. Uh, and even when and if it hits the ground, Rose is really good on the bottom as well, which she also showed against Wei Li. Mm -hmm. So it's just a tricky proposition for Carla. And the thing that I haven't even said yet is the main thing, which is that while Carla tries to navigate that footwork and find a takedown, she is going to be getting pieced apart by Rose. You know, the yeah. skill gap on the feet is still pretty wide and the power gap is pretty wide. And I think Carla is going to maybe feel a little overwhelmed when it, whenever they're standing from, from what's coming back at her. Um, so she absolutely deserves this shot. I'm glad she's getting it. It was a question for a little bit there. I'm glad to see the bookies respecting her. It's, it's fairly close lines. I feel like sometimes Carla Esparza does not get the respect she deserves. But I don't think she can beat this Rose. I think Rose lands something big by round three, maybe when they're in close, something in the clinch like an elbow. As far as it goes on wobbly legs, Rose finishes the job. Round three, TKO. Oh, what a pick. Uh, yeah, this is a tough fight for me to pick because, uh, like you said, I totally agree. I think Esparza is sort of underrated. I mean, she's a fantastic record. She's 18-6. and six. Uh, She's tough to beat. She's a tough out. She's a tough girl. Uh, as good as Rose is, I don't see Rose getting Carla out of there, but I will have to go Rose by unanimous decision. I think she's going to clearly win on the feet. I don't think she's going to be able to stop the takedown because that's generally what the cookie monster does. The cookie monster eats, uh, but I don't think the takedowns are going to be enough. I think Rose is going to neutralize her enough on the ground, threaten with some submissions and ultimately get up in a few positions. Uh, and do enough to win this fight by unanimous decision. Do you deny it? Anything like, else a part you guys want to say about the co-main? 